Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. And today we get to tackle a topic that is outside the realm of what we normally tackle. And it, it comes from a subscriber who was concerned about whether the ideas that I share uh, in the book and, and online really apply to the type of presentations they do. So let me show you her slide and, th and then let's talk about it a bit. Now, she is talking about colostrum. Now, what is it that she does? Well, she is a lactation consultant and she teaches parents to be those who are going to have a baby uh, about the benefits of breastfeeding and, and how that works. And so one of the things she was concerned about is, is that normally I tackle business type related topics and she was wondering, do, do your ideas really apply to the type of stuff that I do, which is out, outside the, the business realm? And I said, absolutely, because the principles are universal. Now, when you take a look at this slide, a uh, typical all text slide, and in the type of topic she's discussing, I think you can probably agree and you can look at a couple of these points and realize, gee, you know what, a photograph would be so much more powerful to show these parents who have never experienced this before what it is that exactly they're looking for or looking at. Um, so that's important. And of course, some of them I can't show you the pictures that I sent her in terms of ideas because we got to keep this family rated. So I want to focus on this particular uh, point here. And it is something that's similar that happens in a lot of presentations where we have uh, some characteristics about a topic that we want to talk about and we just write them out. A couple of problems here is, is that it's all text. We, we really have no idea um, how it's relating to what we want. And the, the high and the low get mixed up. So there's, there's the protein is high and then fat and lactose is low and then high in immunoglobulins. Um, so we need to, need to look at how can we make this better. So here's the slide that I redid. Clostrum helps your baby fight infection. Now how does it do that? Well, first of all, it's high in two things that are really good for fighting infection, protein, and immunoglobins. And the reason that that happens, and you explain why it is that that's good, it's also low in fat and lactose. Now that's not a problem because, and explain that. So what I did is I used a very simple visual to replace this text. And it uh, is so much more easier, it's so much easier for the uh, audience, in this case parents-to-be, to go, oh, okay, that's why this is important for my, the baby after they're born. So before we take a look at the lessons that we can all learn from this slide makeover, just a reminder, if you want more information on the book, go to www.visualslideRevolution.com. For more information on my training, consulting, videos, and other resources, go to www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons for creating a simple visual to replace the text. And this is probably the first point that was important for me to share with the subscriber is that uh, she was thinking she needed a fancy visual. She was coming up with all sorts of visual analogies. I said, no, 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 no. Think simple. A simple visual is really probably the easiest because people don't have to do work to figure out what does the visual mean? How does this fit with what you're saying? So don't get caught up in thinking you need these fancy design uh, in your visuals. Simple visuals work really well. And as I pointed out that there were topics that were not grouped, so the low and the high were not grouped. So make sure you group those topics because they're related. They're related because they're, in this case, they were two of them were high and two of them were low. There could be other ways that they're related or grouped. So group it based on those sorts of uh, relationships. In a lot of cases, the text, the key text, we move to the headline. Instead of keeping it in bullet points or, or keeping it on the slide in some way, move it up to the headline. The headline is, and again, the headline, uh, writing headline is the first point in the five-step method in the book. Write the headline so that it summarizes the point you're trying to make. Let that headline do the work. Too often we think that we just put a couple of words as a topic as the headline. No, no, no. Let the headline do the work. Then you can use the balance, the rest of the slide, to create that visual that reinforces, illustrates the point that you're trying to make. The headline is there. Let it do the work. So next time that you have to replace text on a slide, think about a simple visual. Use these lessons to help you create a more effective slide.